Hello friends and adventurers, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Exile 3 Ruined World. Once again, accompanied by a purring garnet on my arm. So I have decided to infiltrate Castle Troglo. Unauthorized this time. Hello. Door is locked. What do I do? I pick the lock. I try to pick the lock. There we go. Nothing worth finding in the dresser. That old secret passage. Okay, who wants a shot at the Troglo Defender? better chance to hit. Hmm, there's more of you. This might be going even smoother than my test run. Or it would if the troglos would actually follow me in here. Ooh, magic knife. That's actually a pretty valuable drop from these guys. Oh, look, a privy. Or particularly bad holding cell. Come on. Well, this is a bad sign. There's a dead body in here, still in its armor with Empire Insignia. Whoever he was, he was left in this room to starve. Welp. Hi. How many of you can I kill before you get a chance to kill me? Nye nye, Kazi's dead. <laughs> hey there, King Vodkaro.
You have slain Vothcaro, king of the troglodytes. With a roar of fury and agony, he falls. The troglodytes aren't going to appreciate this at all. And now I've got a whole bunch more targets for Firestorm. Okay, presumably there are other troglos out here, just not in this main central room at the moment. See a ring? Rings can be good. Bronze Ring of Protection, not bad. Wand of Coronos, kind of funny. Oh, actually, this is all the stuff that Vothcaro dropped. Mm, Peridot can't carry that much more. Oh, come on. I imagine most of the rest of the fights won't be quite as dramatic as the one in the throne room. Interesting. Given their gross appearance and behavior, most people tend to think of troglodytes as a mindless scourge. However, this well-stocked and neatly arranged library indicates that whatever else their merits, they're definitely literate. Oh, so far the shelves don't have anything to interest me. Alas. Corridor ends in a stairway down. Which leads over here. Also, I did not find anything else of interest in the lower Troglo caves. Ooh, another library. The book is The Tearing of the Bodice. Nothing special. Signage. Hall of the Ancients. Uh. That one might be magically locked. Uh. Ahem. Uh. Okay, this certainly is a hall. In fact, appears to be a treasure room. I was a bit afraid of this. Suddenly, and with the grinding of massive hidden gears, the floor you're walking over slides out from under you. The bed of coals underneath holds the promise of great and instant pain. Oh. 
I wasn't afraid of lava specifically, but I was afraid something in the room was trapped. Okay, barrier. Let's try a piercing crystal. It worked. Unfortunately, there's two barriers. Still, saved myself six spell points. Oh, hi. And there's three of them. Less than ideal. Let's have a speed potion. Amethyst also has a speed potion available, but why? Let's give the shock barrier thing a chance to dissipate. It, no, not fight. I want the get button. Cursed shield. Delightful. Yee, <laughs> many charger chests. With gold. More gold. Some gauntlets. Mystery ring and potion. And mystery shield. I really need to visit a town after this to sort out my inventory. chamber. I wonder if anyone's in here. Knock knock. I imagine we've already killed a good chunk of the troglodyte council. <laughs> These troglodytes are a people who attach great importance to their ancestors. Unfortunately, they're also a people without a past. Created by whoever created them out of thin air, their rootlessness is clearly jarring to them. You now see how they make up for it. You see many statues of Troglos, all taller and more regal than they could have possibly been in life. The subjects died in recent battles, and then became the honored ancestors these creatures so clearly crave. Uh, 
and apparently there's nothing too distinctive about them for human eyes. There's the shaman. There's the shaman. Well, hello there. space for it, I could pick up horns from all these summoned unicorns and make a little bit of profit in Krizan. And apparently nothing in here. The reek in this room makes your stomach do a flip-flop. This is where the troglos throw all their trash. A small window in the south wall isn't helping ventilate the room at all. Hmm. Meanwhile, a cat is demanding more attention. Uh, man, it must suck to have the bedroom right next to the trash pit. Uh, having to leave so much gold behind. Maybe if I come here later, the gold will still be in the chests? Instead of blessing everyone, I'm just going to curse you. I suppose I could take down the barrier guarding this outer wall here. Interesting assortment of weapons, but probably not that great. Oh, hey! 
Castle guards. Seriously, why do they keep summoning unicorns? Anybody else want a piece of me? Thought you were a chair for a second there. Colors kind of blended together. Hey, poison got him. Rude. I don't like you in particular. Throw out some fireballs and heal Connie afterwards. Is there anyone left worth fireballing? Not really. Regeneration around again. I don't think there's anything else in this little spot between the walls. Nothing to find in there. We 
You know you're a low-level grunt when you attack twice before I even notice you. <laughs> Heck was that? Someone broke a barrier. Are you guys taking down the barriers in the front gate? I think maybe you are. It's a little late for that. Also, how the heck are you doing that? You should you shouldn't have the dispel barrier spell. said it would be cool if you took down all of these barriers for me somehow. I guess they weren't expecting an assault from inside the castle. Ha ha ha. I just want to see how many of these guys I can collect. Okay, that could get a little annoying. I could fire blast them into oblivion. Kazi. I probably shouldn't be wasting spell points like this. Oh, 145 damage. That was amazing. You have no chance to survive, make your time. Ah. 
So what's the sermon for today? Kill all humans? Another of the troglodytes' highly enchanted altars, set up and ready to bless and energize the troglo warriors and shamans. There is a kneeling pad in front of it if you want to try your luck. I think I know how this will end. Of course, the altar immediately realizes you're not troglodytes, and reacts badly to your presence. Fortunately, it only absorbs all of your spell points to recharge itself. Uh, joke's on you, I didn't have that many spell points, haha! -ha. But I still want those back. shield. Ow. Not a particularly well-stocked armory here. And where does this staircase go? Down here. Alrighty then. Prisoners and live meat. Oh, joy. I wonder if we will see anyone that is happy to see us. Mm, empty cell there. You are a giant, and you are not friendly. But you have somehow not noticed me, so I'm just going to let you sit there. Right, that, that door was still open. That's not an invisible enemy, I think. Okay, just the hill giant then. can open doors. Why did you give them the ability to open doors? Another level for Pearl, not that she needs it. Level 49. I think the level cap here is 50. Aren't you dead of poison yet? Come on. 
Come on out here and impale yourself on my blades. food, but otherwise nothing worth picking up. Trying to give some of my lower level folks a chance to get more kills in. Hall of Testing. I think I'll come back to that. Oh, I found some friends. small cropland. So they can do some gardening and uh, be safe from sieges here. Uh, withstand a, a siege. Trees? Oh right, I think that was a trash pit. doors. Must be private bedrooms. Wait, wait five? That suggests these are not ordinary arrows. Also, these aren't private bedrooms, but they still seem somewhat higher ranking. <sighs> Way 
Where's the shaman? There's the shaman. Sometimes my desire for people who are not Pearl to get experience conflicts with my desire to make things dead faster. Little smoothie. Well, not so little. Huge smithy by the description. Mace and Bardiche are probably not worth picking up at this point. kitchen. Don't mind if I do. Teeny tiny pantries. Wait a second. Did the Nuffle just... Oh no. Oh, the troglos did say they were storing live meat. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm sure that's random, but both of the pantry enemies dropped some food. Delightful. Mmm, goblin burgers. Made with 100% real goblin. Seventy food. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I might not need to buy food for the rest of this playthrough. <laughs> Seriously. And don't ask how my party can carry almost 2,000 units of food. Video game magic.
Okay, are there any other little corners I haven't explored here? Just the holo testing. This room is where young troglodytes who want to become warriors are tested. The implements and objects around the chamber indicate it's probably not a pleasant process. I don't know if this is for record keeping or what have you. Okay, clubs, hot coals, lizard, just a giant lizard, not even a basilisk. Not even a fire-breathing lizard. Well, that appears to be it for the castle troglo. Let's get the heck out of here and report and start reporting back into towns. I don't care anymore. Okay, maybe I care a little. Over to this corner, and how are there still troglodytes in here? And out we go. I don't remember if I actually read that message before. I think I did. Patrol of Empire Guards has heard about us. Hooray. Here's Sheremick, and where we left the horses. Oh, Sheremick appears to be somewhat worse for the wear. How about that? Yeah, Sheremick city walls have seen better days. And so has the inn, oof. Wasn't there someone selling armor over here? <laughs> oh, hey. I don't think you were here before. This man, wearing the sash and insignia of a mayor of the Empire, sits here drinking ale. Lots of it. I'm known as Najib. That's Mayor Najib. He belches. He's planning strategy. Yeah, now that the Trogs destroyed Aminro and put me out of a job, and the Empire is nowhere to be seen, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with the Madmen and Sheremek. He finishes his beer and calls for two more. Mayor Knight's turning this into his own little fiefdom, and has the support to do it. Nobody gets anything without licking his boots. And the Troglos move on. He drinks more. And people wonder why I spend most of my time these days drunk. The Troglos are still out there. They're fighting the giants, but they'll be back. Mm-hmm. I run this in, and let me tell you, it's one trial or tribulation after another. If you care, which you don't. A better reasonably safe room, rounds of beer, and fine bourbon. I'm quite certain I've done the bourbon before. A mace lock and angel's rest, something about a halberd. I have that halberd. It's really nice. She looks quite upset. We got really hit a few days ago. Demolished half my rooms and killed Ehrenfeld, my only paying customer. Oh no. He was in his room resting, and a few troglo firestorms caved in the whole corner of the inn. We barely got the fire out as it was. 
Now how am I supposed to run it in with all the troggles about? Well, Poor Ehrenfeld. First he loses his shop, and then he loses his life to the troglos. This is what happens when you faff around and wait until day 150-ish to <laughs> deal with the giant and troglo plague. And that shop was already ruined when we first got here. this all about. Aha, uh -huh, I think this was here before. This hastily erected building is where the troglodytes Sharamek soldiers capture waste away while awaiting torture and execution. The smell of rotting garbage and rotting prisoners makes you feel ill. Yeah, they're not even uh, high-ranking troglos, they're just grunts. Hey, Mayor Knight, how are things going these days? We have foes both outside and inside. The troglos come at us from without, and subversives cause rot from within. Somehow I don't think you're getting rid of the subversives all that easily. Word has spread of the pale travelers who helped end a plague of monsters to the south. I, therefore... Let you come here in the hope that you could be convinced to undertake a quest for us. <laughs> Help yourself to the Dispel Barrier Tome. I as yet have no need for you. I suggest heading north to Lorelei now. You may be able to help them with their giant problem. Okay, so Mayor Knight is about as satisfied as he's going to get with the current situation. And I am going to rest up and take a room at the inn. She shows you to your she shows you to a room. Oh by the way, it's perfectly safe, but you should keep your sword nearby just in case. Mm-hmm. It's basically the only safe room left in the inn. Yeah. I did that so I could identify my stuff in one fell swoop. Ah, uh, the scroll I picked up is a scroll of flame. <laughs> really, I should have just... Spent the money to... I, I should have just spent the money to identify my items instead of doing the spell. And Isaac has by now sent his daughter Kelly to Softport. I get messages from her sometimes, but I worry about her terribly and miss her more. He sighs. Thank you for letting me unburden my soul. Right. Here. Have a scroll of flame. Training. And uh, you know what? Don't mind if I do. Let's see how many skill points I've got to spend on stuff. Pretty decent amount. I can't even spend all of the skill points on some of my characters because I don't know what to spend them on anymore. Is there... Okay, yeah, I can sell items to this guy. If I have anything that I feel like selling. Bronze ring. Useless. Firestone is good for selling. Buckler is good for selling. Ooh, magic gauntlets and magic shield. Magic Mace is less impressive. Rough Diamond. Hmm. 
Instead of having Steven carry around the steel gauntlets, I can easily swap those out for the magic ones. Oh, Vothcaro just dropped leather gloves? Lame. Oh, the Wand of Warp is actually worth quite a lot less to sell than I thought it was. Not that it matters, it's going into excess gold. I'm still carrying around a lamp. And now I think I want to go to Lorelei to dump excess stuff and check in there. Have I not explored that square? Oh, I think I remember this. Yeah, this is the merchants that want food. We'll pay 400 gold for each full load of food you bring us. I mean, I need neither the food nor the gold right now. has not changed since the last time I was here. Hooray! And I'm sure talking to the mayor will be absolutely useless. But why not try it anyway? I think you even have anything to say about the giants. Okay, well, I've definitely fulfilled the mission that Bruscrud has. The giants bombarded us constantly. Now they only raid us occasionally. Alas, those raids still cost us dearly, and still we receive no help from our leaders. Okay, I think that's about all I can get from Lorelei. So what shall we do now that the giants and troglos have been dealt with to the best of our ability? Well, I am going to look through my increasing supply of special items. Ah, Amulet of Rapid Returning. I'm going to check in at Fort Emergence in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.